All right, so I was asked by a few of you guys on YouTube to better explain how I do electrolysis. There's different ways you can do this. Um, you can charge the water using salt. You can charge the water using baking soda. You can charge the water using other stuff. Uh, in my opinion, baking soda works the best. So for that amount of water, I've got, I don't know, a small tub right there. This is a spike hammer, railroad, old railroad spike hammer that um, I've already kind of put under electrolysis, but we're going to use it as a demonstration piece. Maybe I'll leave it on for a few hours to zap it a little bit more. Okay, for that amount of water, really what you need is about a shot glass full um, of baking soda, and you just take it, dump it in, okay, and then mix it up. So now the water's charged, okay. And start with that. Maybe I'll add a little bit more later, but yeah, about a shot glass full for that amount of. You don't need a whole lot. So um, let's go to the next segment. Okay, so you have your item to be cleaned. You hook the negative terminal up to the item that you want to clean. Okay, the positive terminal goes to the anode, which is. You're basically your sacrificial metal. In this case, I'm using a um, a pipe clamp. You know, big uh, pipe clamp, steel pipe clamp. So you put that over here. You got your object you're going to clean, your anode. Do not let your anode touch the object you're cleaning. That's, that's not good. Okay, so on to the next segment. Okay, now we have everything hooked up. We have the negative um, hooked up to the item we're going to clean. We have the positive hooked up to a nice fresh piece of steel, which is the anode. And then you have your charger down here. Now, I use an automatic charger because I know how to fake it to get it to stay on. Um, really, what's recommended to um, do electrolysis you want a battery charger, but you really don't want one of these. This is just what I have, and I've figured out how to make it work. Um, these will shut off on you uh, sometimes, and you have to keep a close eye on them. The manual battery chargers, the older ones, I don't think they make them anymore. Or most of them are automatic now. Um, the older manual chargers work much better, but this is the one I have, and um, I've figured out a way how to make it work, so... Okay. Okay, so we're ready to go. We have our positive terminal hooked up to our sacrificial metal. Okay, this is what's going to take the rust off of that and bring it over um, over here. It, it draws the rust off. This is your anode. This is the item you're going to clean, negative terminal. Negative to item you're going to clean, positive to sacrificial metal. Now this metal will get chewed up and it'll actually look like this. It gets all eaten up. So that's your sacrificial metal. I think I used a, um, oh, whatever, a pipe clamp. So now you're ready to go. The water's been charged with baking soda and we're gonna, we're gonna start it up. So let's go down here. And this is, um, this is the charger. We know we have a good connection because we see right there we have the connection. Um, and you have your, this is basically meant for obviously a car battery. You have basically, you're warming up the battery. You have your um, slow charge and your fast jump charge. I usually just go with the middle one. You don't really need to toast the thing. Um, you can if you really want to, really want to. And there it goes. So it's kicked on. We should be cleaning our item. Let's come back up here. And we see that it's working. There it goes. Well, I hope this helped.